before the Ray put these tweets out, because people was talking about her body, and me being a person who I've been talking about because of my body and my disability and stuff like that, I, I feel like I could speak on this in a way that <clears throat> hopefully makes sense and resonates with all people who have people talking about them for something physical that they can or probably can't change. <clears throat> people talk about Megan. They say she's too tall. They talk about the baby. They say he's too short. And they say his head is shaped a certain way. They talk about folks who do for being too short. They talk about fucking, they talked about Tory Lane's hairline. They talked about Tiger hairline. They talked about, they talk about everybody, man. They talk about Lil Dirk eyes. Everybody is going, when you were a person in the public light, everybody gonna have something to say. Just focus on the fact that you're doing better than them people that's probably in them comments hate. Because people, you don't see other rich people talking bad on other people unless they got personal problems. But you don't see Beyonce and nobody comments being messy or being rude and disrespectful. You know, I walk with a limp. I know if I was famous, they'd say shit about me on the internet because they said shit about me in elementary and middle school. So in my eyes, try to develop tough skin. It's very hard, I know. And it's easier said than done. I know that too. But practice make perfect. When you practice and focus on the things about yourself that's better than the things that people talk about, it makes it a lot easier. Like, you may walk with a limp, but you got a nice face or a pretty smile or whatever. I got a nice face and I got a pretty smile. So I feel like that balances out from the way that my negative walk may be. I don't look at my walk as something that's horrible. I thank God that I can walk, because you know, most people with my disability can't even walk. So I'm grateful for the fact that I can walk. Or like my lazy eye. People make fun of my lazy eye, but at least I can see out of my lazy eye, you know? A lot of people got messed up eyes and they can't even see. So I just thank God that I can see. You know, Biggie had a lazy eye. Southwest T, his eye is lazy because he was shot. Um, yeah, so it, I feel like it's just important to focus on things you can change. I think it's uh, important to focus on things you can't change and learn to accept the things you can't. And if you and if there's something wrong with you that you can change, change it, you know? Like, Tiger had a problem with his hairline. Tory Lanez had problems with their hairline. Instead of shaving their head bald, they got their hair fixed from a doctor. If you can afford that, do that. Um, I don't really see nothing wrong with Corey Ray's body. I, me personally, I like the way she's shaped. You know, she's very fit and in shape. You know, if you watch her TikTok where she was dancing to the big purr, she got a nice ass, that motherfucker soft, it jiggle, it move. So I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, everybody talk about how she shaped like a boy. I don't think she shaped like a boy at all. I just think she shaped like a slim woman. But uh, you know, it is what it is, man. I think Coyle Ray is beautiful. I don't know her personally. She seemed cool based off of me. She's worked with people from Flint and did music with Flint artists. So from what I hear from them, she seems like a cool person. You know, she worked with YNJ and BFB Pac-Man. So she seemed cool. Um, I wouldn't mind getting to know her if I ever came across her. You know what I'm saying? We had a good interaction. But from the outside looking in, she just seemed like a cool girl that liked to have fun and like to just do her thing in the music industry. So uh, that's just my opinion, man. Try to have tough skin. I feel like that's something that people should really take into consideration before becoming famous. Like before you become famous, understand that it's things like hate and negativity and bashing and shaming and getting talked about that come with this, you know? And I'm not saying that like it's easy, I'm just saying that just to say it's a fact, things like that happen. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, man. Stop talking about people, bro. That talking about people shit is lame because you're really exposing yourself. Because when you get to talking about people, you letting it be known that 
you got some shit wrong with you that you can't heal, say, bashing other people and taking your pain from within out on other people. So really in the end, it make you as a person who's doing the bashing look bad. So nobody wins because the person that's bashing, they might feel a little better because they hurting somebody else, but that person that's doing the bashing still got to deal with that pain and that hurt when everything is all settled and when the smoke clears. And then not only that, but you making somebody else come down to your level. And I feel like that's lame as hell. Like if you trying to bring somebody down just because you down instead of just getting help so where you can be up like that person that's already up. I feel like if you're not with that, you got a fucked up mind. You probably need therapy. But that's my opinion, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And yeah, man, I'm out.